connecting. Oh, this one, okay, one that started. I'm going to stop the other one that's connecting. So we, we back on, man. These motherfuckers is trying to shut us down and shit like only YouTube can, but um, they can't today because we still going to keep on going. And, um, you know, we're just having a basic conversation. This is, how, this is how intelligent black people talk, even though I know he's graduated and I didn't. <laughs> but now, this is how people talk when they, when they have a passion and respect for one another. And, you know, it's just love out here. We, we, we can't hate people for what they haven't done. I mean, it's like, you can sit here and blame white people, black people, and all these people around for the problems, but the people who actually live through the problems have next, nothing to do with the problem. You know, uh -huh. As a people, we didn't create the problems here in America, but we've become one of the problems here in America, and, and that's pitiful. You know, white people don't look at white people as a problem. You get a bunch of white people on drugs, and you don't hear nothing about it. You get somebody black on drugs, and it's like, oh, these Negroes are on drugs. But the reality is, everybody gets fucked up some kind of way or the other. Um, so we didn't create the problem, but we didn't know what to do to stop it. Yeah. And we didn't take the initiative to stop it. Exactly. When we when we talk about these elitist people who who basically hijack all of humanity, not just the United States, every country, you know, every, mm -hmm. every somewhere with a centralized bank, you know what I'm saying? But they, we allowed that to happen, you know. We weren't smart enough to stop that, and we still aren't smart enough to come together as a collective and destroy that. So at the end of the day, if we're going to make complaints, make complaints about everyone as a whole, not different groups. Oh, the black people exactly. haven't been uh, living up people. to my standards, you know, and you need to speak correct English, you know. You, all but, of that's bullshit. But like I said, there's only two kinds of people in America. There's only black people and white people. We are the crux to the problem. If you get rid of the black people and the white people in America, everybody else is fine. Because you don't hear about I them. Don't, I don't. We don't hear about their problems, their struggles, and their strikes. They don't count. But what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying <laughs> those, those problems don't even matter. You know, those are minute. The little yeah. problems in the black community and the white community, those are minute. You know, as yeah. who mean something, but at the end of the day, we all mad because we all feel like we're not getting our fair slice, you know? Exactly. Come back and blame it on and critique different races, you know, as the problem. That's not the solution. The solution is to get these rich motherfuckers out of power and then slowly start to work through our problems, you know? Mm -hmm. Not to address racism as, as though that's the main issue with this country. The main issue with this country is you got different... Um, like classism. Evil, evil uh, hands, you yeah. know? That's maneuvering our whole our whole society and our whole race, you know, as far as the race of mankind. Mm -hmm. They're staring us right into the hole. They're staring us right into the trap. Exactly. We're a bunch of lemmings. Oh, and we fall we fall right into it every time that we incite that uh that that race the, the race the, the race car you the know? race car the race car is funny because the race the, car in itself you know I don't even like to say that because mm. even in itself that's bullshit you know what I'm saying? yeah. There is no such thing as a race card. If anything, it's a race box. They put a bunch of people in a box and see which one can race to get out of it. I like that. I'm going to adopt that. The and race box, I'm, I'm yeah. Bring up some shit, they in the race, you in the race box, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. You entrapped yourself. Because so think you, about it. You made because, yourself small. Because you're, you're not a human being until you can see beyond your own race. See what I'm saying? It's like, that's why blacks against whites and whites against blacks is because they put us against our own race and then with inside our own race, we got factions on Light skin versus dark skin. They got blonde hair versus dark hair. You know what I mean? Blonde hair, blue eyes versus brown eyes. You know what I'm saying? We have been divided internally, externally, and physically because they also invite, divide us by sex. Gays and straight, lesbians and gay. You know, that's what they, say you're gay, then oh yeah, these look. You're a lesbian or is, is, a, is a gay woman a lesbian or gay? You know what I'm saying? It's like they've even divided homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? These Rockefellers, these different people, they create the different organizations. They the ones who came up with the the gay and 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 the women's rights. You know, they 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 create. They create what can be seen as a problem to some people, mm. and they create the solution by making these people have their different uh, 
organizations and stuff that 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 mm. that drive home what they want to what yeah. they want to accomplish. Yeah, you know, what I'm they create the problem and the solution and feed you both of them. You know what I'm saying? And whichever one you you take, you still in a box. You know, they put mm-hmm. both of the things in the box. You still in the race you box. You want to go whatever you say. You just go into that box. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, they create the solution and the problem, and that's why we need to end this. And the only way I know how to end it. The only the only solution I was able to come up with is the the collapse of the dollar. You know, for people to go to their bank, take their money out of the bank, mm-hmm. and put it into things that actually have wealth, such as mm-hmm. land, mm-hmm. as uh, uh, if you need a new vehicle, whatever you need to do to get through the couple months it would take for for, um, for them to wake the up, to come together mm-hmm. and, and come up with a different monetary program mm-hmm. that doesn't involve, you know, the elite. Credit. Yeah. The, the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds and mm-hmm. the, the, the J.P. Morgans, you know, when we can come up with something that completely cuts that middleman out, mm-hmm. then we'll we see, would, but, but, once, but once uh, again, humanity grow like it's supposed to do. You but know? you have their entities working against you. In other words, say, say, say we create a pill that you can stick in your gas tank and your gas, you don't have to put gas in the car anymore. Just put water. Mm-hmm. They will put so many stipulations on that pill that nobody can afford it. Then, yeah, that's why we got to completely cut them out, and that's yeah. how you do it. You do that by taking your money out, buy land, mm-hmm. buy food, buy whatever you need, buy mm-hmm. silver, buy gold, something to sustain your wealth other than the dollar, which we could talk, we could sit here and talk about in the Fed, and mm-hmm. the Federal Reserve is bad, but if we ain't willing to sit here and see the dollar come to an end, which is a, a, a tool, which is a, a tentacle of the yeah. Federal Reserve, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If we can't come together and, and, and destroy the so-called power, power elite, mm-hmm. you know, then we ain't doing nothing. You That's know, true. we just we just accepting a substitute, you know what I'm saying? We just we want to end the Fed, we want to put new people in there, but we want to keep the same corrupt dollar, you know what I'm saying? It's got the symbols right on the back of the dollar for the Illuminati, the all I, and if you connect, if you draw... The, the 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 star. I don't know what is it. The pentagram. Well, you got all these evil people on the face of the dollar anyway. Draw, yeah, if you draw the, the, that pentagram or whatever it's called on the back, mm. where you got the all C and I, mm. it connects. It connects and spells Mason right on the back of the dollar. Mm. Spells it right out for you. You know what I'm saying? If if you don't sit here and say in the Fed, then say. And the dollar, you know what I'm saying? Be willing to say that as well, because that is, like I said, that is their tool for keeping us under control. Mm-hmm. You know, if we all let them kill the dollar, with they, with, which they plan to do already, you know what I'm saying, by printing up money out of nowhere, you know, and not being able to pay it back. So you got people like China recognizing this, and they saying we don't want to deal in dollars no more. You got mm-hmm. people like Russia recognizing this so they don't deal in dollars you got people like iraq who noticed this and they didn't want to deal in dollars so they got blown the fuck up you got people like iran who noticed this so they got they getting ready to get blown up <laughs> want to, whoever we yeah. want to deal with the dollar they 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 get put in a box and they get dealt with you know what i'm saying the imf is nothing but an organization that sends people out economic hit man Mm-hmm. To, I saw that movie. Went to the dollar to lure people into the dollar. You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. came out talking about they want to sell a large amount of their gold to China so that they can so they they can help poor nations. You know what I'm saying? When they say this type of words, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, a bell got to go off in your head. Okay, what are they doing now? What they doing is going to these poor nations, loaning them money they know they could never pay for, and then ripping them of all their resources and all, and strip, all of their strip them down like Africa. Of wealth. You know what I'm saying? They call it economic hitman for a reason. They kill economies, and, and, and that's what's going on with ours right now. Mm. We borrowed so much, and we can't pay that shit back. So now you see the repercussions of dealing with economic hitman. Yeah, but the fucked up part about it is that we're borrowing money from our own Federal Reserve Bank. You know, come on. It, it's, it's illogical. It's our not Federal it, Reserve Bank. That's the problem. It's not ours. It's the, I know. the private corporations. And like know? I said. It's the private mm-hmm. banks. Like I said, if we can get a new bank, that might slow some bank. of the drama. But it it would probably just be one, like you said, it'd be one of their banks anyway. Oh yeah. You know, so we gotta we gotta get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? We gotta find them and get rid of them. And-